This is the grade 7 math practice test for T in ready. Question number 13. Marcus drew a scale drawing of the rectangular park in his neighborhood, which tells me one thing. Marcus is definitely the type of dude you want to have at your next party because that man is awesome. On his drawing, the length of the park is 8 inches and the width is 6 inches. So what if I drew a absolutely terrible version of this? Because most people don't know this, but one of my majors in college was drawing very bad shapes. As you can see, I was a master. Um, so this has an 8 by 6. The key on his drawing shows that 1 inch equals 20 feet, so I need to do this. What is the actual area of the park? There's a couple ways that we can go about doing this. The one that's going to give you less headaches is just to do the conversions before you deal with any of the multiplication that is required of finding area. Remember, since we're doing a rectangle, this is going to be a length times width relationship, but let's change these out a little bit. I'll draw another terrible rectangle right over here. Now, if 1 inch equals 20 feet, what I'm going to do here is make a proportion. Make sure your inches are either on the top together or on the bottom together. It doesn't actually matter. Equals x. So 1 times x is x. And I'm just going to do cross products here, by the way. And 8 times 20 is 160. So this is in feet, so I'm going to make it 160 feet right here. Now, for the other one, I'm going to use this same scale. I don't know why I erased it. I have eraser regret. One times x is x. Twenty times six is a hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty feet. Now this is where we start to move into the realm of ridiculous. So this is a calculator allowed section. This might be a pretty reasonable time to assume that it that you could use the calculator here. The length is 160 times the width of 120. Because it's feet times feet, that's feet squared. That's a unit. It's a two-dimensional unit for area. If we're doing volume, it would be three-dimensional. Over on the side here, I have my calculator. Unfortunately, for some reason, it's being weird, so you'll only see a corner of it, which is super useful to show you anything. But what are you going to do? See, there it is. And it gives me 19, 2, 19,200 feet squared. So that is the length, or the actual area, sorry, of the park. So I might write D there as a reminder that that's the answer that I want to put on my answer sheet. Maybe not, but the key here is just to go ahead and do the... Um, unit conversions before you get into the final multiplication. Remember your formula for area of a rectangle. You should have known that forever now. And also remember that if you want to do unit conversions, quick way to make that happen, or, or in this case it's just a conversion, a scale conversion, um, you just need to make sure that you use a proportion to do it. In this case the proportion was so simple that you probably didn't even need to bother with that.